It's a big budget, big spending, high taxes, and not quite clear whether the government are going to benefit politically from what they've said. Well, or whether their own side will be the ones who are criticising them. That is all we have time for. Thank you to you, Ed Davey, for joining us in the closing moments of this programme. Thank you to all of my guests for joining us today. It was a big day with the budget and the spending review. I'll be back tomorrow, though, at 12.15. Bye-bye. This is BBC News, I'm Sean Lay. The headlines at three o'clock. The Chancellor promises a strong economy fit for a new age of optimism as he delivers his budget. Employment is up. Investment is growing. Public services are improving. The public finances are stabilising and wages are rising. Among the big announcements this afternoon, changes to universal credit, allowing in-work claimants to keep more of the money they earn. Rishi Sunak laid out the state of the economy, with inflation expected to hit 4%. There's a cut in air passenger duty for those travelling between airports in the UK, and a freeze in fuel duty, the Chancellor's accused of failing to tackle climate change in his budget. The current alcohol duty system is to be overhauled, meaning drinks with a lower alcohol percentage will become cheaper. Labour accused Rishi Sunak of living in a parallel universe, cutting taxes for bankers while ordinary people struggled to get by. So, Madam Deputy Speaker, at least the bankers on short haul flights sipping champagne will be cheering this budget today. I've been talking to people in Bristol and quite a few small businesses too to see how they think these latest budget announcements will be affecting them. In other news, this lunch this afternoon, a serving Metropolitan Police officer has been charged with rape. PC Adam Zaman, who's 28, serves with the East Area Command Unit. very good afternoon. Welcome to BBC News if you've just joined us. Now the Chancellor Rishi Sunak has delivered his budget this afternoon saying it's preparing the UK for a post-Covid era of optimism. Mr Sunak also announced the results of the spending review revealing how much each government department will receive in the three years from April 2022. Let's take a look at some of the measures. 